Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer. We are back with another tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to get clear water. If you are new to Planet Zoo and you have no idea how to create underwater viewing galleries in general, I highly recommend you to watch my other tutorials of how to create an underwater viewing gallery and how to create one with aquatic animals to make sure they are diving and your underwater feeder is working. I will link them all in the description down below. So in this tutorial, as you can see, we now have a habitat with a gray seal, which has kind of not really that much clear water in it. It's really deep habitat. So this one definitely has like these darker edges right over here. You can still see the seal, so it's not that bad. It, it really looks realistic, especially for these kind of outdoor habitats. But there are a lot of people that are like, hey, I really want to have some real clear water. And there is a trick to do that. I have two tips for you. So let me just show the first one for you. So a very simple way of how to get pretty clear water, but still looking very natural in my opinion, is to make sure that your water section is not super wide over here. So what you can do, you need a four by four by four meter box basically to make sure that your animals like otters and penguins and seals are able to dive. So what I did in this case is to measure this water section out being exactly or like a little tad wider as four meters to make sure that the animals would still dive, but it's not like super wide. And uh, yeah, this actually makes sure that you have this pretty clear water, in my opinion, and a very good view of the awesome animals diving around. So I think this is definitely the best and easiest way to get clear water, especially with smaller animals, without too much effort. So when I actually started building in my new zoo called Pont Zoo, I at first thought that it, this clear water was because of it being an indoor habitat or maybe because of being in a different biome. So I thought maybe the water is more clear in this biome. But actually, when I continued building in this zoo, I realized why we have this very clear water and why this is different from the previous zoo I just showed. And why this is such clear water, I am going to show you now in this tutorial. So you can create the same type of underwater viewing galleries for your own zoos with this clear water like you're seeing right now. So as I said, I'm expecting that you already know the basics of how to create an underwater viewing gallery. If you don't, I highly recommend you to watch my tutorials for it. Uh, but this would basically, very uh, exaggerated, but this would basically be the idea of how you would create an underwater viewing gallery or it would be like going down we will get there in a minute uh, but yeah as you can see this is a very simple way this would be your habitat you have a water section right over here and this would be your underwater viewing gallery and this is the blurry foggy water so how would we be able to create clear water out of this water section here is the trick so let's go here. What you should create is something like this. Like you have your habitat right over here and you want your underwater viewing gallery window to be on this edge right over here. So what you need to do is you need to fill this first up with terrain. And once you did that, this is exactly as I said, it's very exaggerated, but we're going to make that look better. So I'm going to change this a little tiny bit. So this would be the right height to clear some terrain. And I'm going to make sure that this is the same level as this ground texture because this is where you're going to have your path basically. So what you're going to do is you're going to delete the edge of a terrain, but not every terrain. So you're going to delete this like so. And then what you're going to do, you can maybe flatten this a little tiny bit right over here. You can make it a little bit thinner if you want to. You can probably, you will probably hide it away or anything with some rocks in a later stage. As you can see right over here, there is already some terrain uh, going away. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to smooth and flatten the terrain right over here. So you have basically some kind of cave 
feeling right over here. And obviously you can make this as pretty as nice as you want it to be, but you need to make sure that you have this terrain right over here. Play around with it a little bit, like how thin can you go? I did not really test that out per se. This is just the basics of the technique of how you can do this. So now we're going to make sure that we're going to have some glass right underneath here. So we're gonna make sure that everything is closed off from the left to the right. Obviously you can make it straight. I'm just showing the basics of how you can use this technique. So now we have everything closed off. We are in the terrain. This is very important to make sure that you are able to put in your water and we're going to select everything. And then we're going to move this up until the terrain level right over here so you won't see it from the top. And then you can add some water in, just like that. It's probably not smooth enough, so that's why we couldn't uh, put it like the highest level. So now, as you can see, you have a very clear underwater viewing gallery. Why is that? Because actually the water is still resting right over here so it's resting against the terrain and not per se like you can see right over here it's not resting against your glassy wall and this is basically the trick to get a clear underwater viewing gallery so you can actually also just remove this wall section but that does not always work sometimes you have a path going right over here and then you might have some issues with it but you can basically, because the water is resting against the terrain, you can basically just delete this wall section. Because it's actually not more than a water layer you can see right over here. So that is really cool. Uh, so yeah, this is one way of doing it. So for the technique that I use for this penguin habitat, for example, this is like the ground level. We have one viewing gallery right over here, and then we have another viewing gallery right underneath it we have a path right over here so the guests can basically see the animals from this underwater viewing gallery and from the top right over here so very simplified this is the same technique i use for this so we have a path right over here and then underneath it we have this tunnel system right over here with a very clear underwater viewing gallery so how did i create this so of course you should have some kind of hole into your ground where you want your habitat water to be and also already think out where you want your path to be. So in this case we're just gonna replicate that section obviously and uh, we're going to put down a path right over here. I'm gonna use control to make sure that it's not going to snap. So I'm going to have a path right over here like that. And now we're going to make sure that there is another path underneath this path where I want the underwater viewing gallery to be. So first of all, I'm going to make sure that this is going to be nicely and aligned to the path section I have on the top. And we're going to dig it, dig it out with this terrain tool right over here. So like so. Just gonna have a nice small little edge right next to this path section. So now we want to make sure that we have a path underneath this path for the underwater viewing gallery. So there are two ways of getting rid of the terrain underneath it. One way is obviously with the flattening tool right over here. You can use this tool to clear the terrain underneath it and put down your path. Or you can use your path itself and then use the flattened terrain tool like this. And then you start right over here and you just dig out the terrain and where you want your path to be so okay now we do have a section right over here and we're just going to make sure that we're going to put a path right underneath the other path or somewhat underneath it and if we are able to i would like to remove these section no that's not possible and this why you can't remove this is because you already have a path on top of it so that is causing the error that you're not able to remove these weird wonky things right over here but my suggestion would be to just hide it away with a lot of rocks for example so right now we're going to add a glassy wall and the challenge is going to be if this is exactly underneath the terrain still or that is going to glitch out a little bit else we need to just dig out the terrain a tiny little bit 
okay and then go through the terrain right over here we go through the terrain right over here and now we're going to select everything and see if this is all inside of the terrain it looks like it i'm just going to raise it just underneath the terrain section itself right over here it's all still connected right over here and now we're going to fill this up with a water just like this and now as you can see we have an underwater viewing gallery with clear water and we have a viewing gallery on the top right over here you can obviously just uh, smooth the terrain and flatten the terrain a little tiny bit right over here when you remove the terrain and just hide it away with a lot of rocks and those kind of things and you can just hide it away like I did right over here with some rocks and just make sure that everything looks pretty you don't see any wonky things anymore right over here because I all hide it away with some rocks right over here as well so yeah I really do hope that this tutorial was helpful for you guys to create clear underwater viewing galleries with a little bit of tricking this system I really do hope that this was helpful do let me know in the comment section down below leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and if you want to see more planet zoo content I definitely got you covered on the channel thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you guys all in the next one bye guys